Our current Bucking Bull World standings. Compliments of Yeti, Smooth Rex stays atop the list, but only three one hundredths of a point ahead of Smooth Operator. We saw most of these bulls out in the bucking battle earlier this weekend. But remember, it's your eight best season outs that gets you to the World Finals. Once at the World Finals, those last two outs of the year work into the average and eventually decide our world champion. Jess Lockwood seems to be salivating at the chance to get on Biker Bob later today and perhaps get on all those bulls later this se season. Yeah, it, it, that's a cool thing about it. All the best guys, they want to get on those big name bulls because that's, I mean, that's really your chance for greatness. Dalen Swearingen starting to put his stamp on greatness, including that ride we saw in the bucking battle aboard Cochise. He also had a good one in round two aboard Rising Sun for 88 and a half. Now he's gone with BootDaddy.com. And this is a bull that has a big buck off streak. But I like the pick here. I think this is a really good bull that is a little bit, I hate to say overrated, because, you know, he has got the job done day in and day out. Man, he's just a little black and white paint that goes out there around the left. He's got a little bit of forward, but follows it up with good enough kick. I, I think Dalen should handle this one. Well, you've said this before, right, about BootDaddy.com. There's nothing like if you were to chart his skills, there's nothing over the moon in one category. No, there's no one thing that stands out where you go, oh, I get it. I get why he's bucking all these guys off. This is a really good, solid bull each and every time. Swearingen needs 84 and three quarters to move to the lead. Definitely has more than enough bull underneath him. We lost the clock there for a second up here in the booth. I do believe even though he was off the side, he hung on for the required eight. There is no question, Dalen Swearingen has not come here just to play. He has come to this league to make a statement. 88 and three quarters. We are getting to see Dalen Swearingen turn into, before our very eyes, turn into one of the elite bull riders in the world right now. He's got the ability, but what I love is this guy has got the guts. He moves to the number one spot and set it to Kate. First time matching up with that bull and it paid off. What did you like about him that made you draft him? Uh, he went left, one thing I like. I just had to keep, I got a little behind, dropped me down in, and I worked a little too hard to get out. It got me over there a little bit, but it all worked out. Sure did, Craig. Moves into that number one spot. He's got a 19, excuse me, a 20-year-old trying to supplant him. Dalton Castle. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Dalton Castle hey, hey. gets it done. The youngsters putting the pressure on everybody else. We're now being told it's under review. It was called eight seconds on the dirt. Castle got a little love tap as he went off bushwhacked. If it's 89 or better, he moves to the lead in the event. I really like how good Dalton looks away from his hand on a bull going to the right. You know, I, I think the only thing he's going to have to start to improve on is, is finishing, not missing the front end towards the end. That's. You know, that's what's causing this review oh, right here. Boy, that looks like, and it is officially no score. The buck off called, lost his rope officially at 7.98 seconds. Kid's got the goods though. And yeah, I was gonna say, we are gonna see this young yep. man a lot. Going by the ride past desk, that's Colby Yates there along with Matt West doing that telecast, and meanwhile, this is Allison DeSosa. He's gone with short pop. These guys have a long history. Yeah, he loves this bull, and not a lot of guys do. You know, that's the cool thing about a draft, though. A guy gets a chance, just because everybody else doesn't get along with the bull, every now and then there's something that just works for you. That's the way Allison is with this bull right here. These two get along really well.
He finds himself now that he comes in the first man two for two. He just needs a score. And he'll move to the top, but it starts with a nod. And the clock is now at 20 seconds. For our new fans. And this bull standing, man. Yeah, perfect, right? No reason. Now down around 10 seconds. If he doesn't nod, he'll be disqualified. We've only seen this a couple times, but in the championship round, there it is. Took him along the steel for a joy ride, but that is the, I believe, the fifth time they have met, and that's the third qualified ride for Alison. He's feeling a little bit of pain. Hopefully, this score will diffuse some of that. It's 81 points. He moves to the number one spot. Yeah, and short Bob, it takes a long time to get out of the shoe and then the bull, usually around the end of the gate to the right, and made one round and, and, and took off there. That's why you see the low scores. That was close, meanwhile, going back to whether or not he was gonna nod. He had three seconds Yeah, he ran it with. down. We saw Fabiano, I believe, one time get disqualified in the championship round, but you know it doesn't happen very often. And really, as you would and say, a lot there's of times, no excuse. That's that's the outcome. The longer you spend on the shoot, the worse the bull's going to be when the gate opens. This next pairing could be huge, and it really is one of those situations where Jose Vitor Leme, I feel, has decided I'm going big or I'm going home. Hostage, unridden in his career, but. We know the points are underneath Levy. That's what I've always liked about Jose is he's not a guy, you know, most of the time that, that tries to just take the layup. This is a guy that is going for first place. Uh, I feel like as long as his health is there, he's a guy that's going for it, and this is definitely going for it with Hostage. They met this year at Iron Cowboy. The Bull won that matchup. Match excuse me. We saw Derek Kobaba try this bull in round two in Cheyenne. It went six and a half seconds. All day long for Lemmy. Hostage didn't leave perfectly, but it doesn't matter when you've got all the skills that Lemmy has at his disposal. He only needs 81 and a quarter to move to first. He's definitely gonna get that, but how long will it hold up? 91 and a quarter. And this is just awesome. This is a guy, I felt like going into this championship round, Hostage was the rankest bull in there. This is a guy that's trying to win a world championship. He said, give me the toughest bull and I'll show you what I can do. He just registered his ninth 90 plus score of the season. No one else is even close. Let's send it to Kate. Last time you two matched up, it went the Bulls way. Now here you are with another 90. What did you like about that bull and what was different this trip? Ele falou assim que é a segunda vez que você montou nele, parece que a primeira vez ele ganhou de você. E agora você está aqui de novo com outro 90, mais, mais de 90 pontos. O que, que foi diferente nessa vez? Acho que agora ele está melhor dentro do brete. A primeira vez que eu montei nele, ele era um pouco difícil. Ele acabava se atrapalhando muito na, na hora de sair. Agora ele está mais calmo. Consegui aproveitar ele bem, fazer meu trabalho. E mais um, mais um 90 na minha carreira, graças a Deus. Estou muito feliz por isso. Só tenho a agradecer a Deus. Uh, I think he's just kind of settled down and shoot a little more. The first time I had a chance to get on him, he was really green, and he kind of messed him up. He, every time we knocked the head, he kind of just kind of bad trip. But this time he was really calm, and I took my chances on him, and it worked out great. I just really happy and blessed to be another 91 in my career. I just want to thank God for that. Paid off perfect. Great ride. Thank you. Craig. So many sub stories at play. Leme coming off of winning round number two, going for back to back round wins, trying to not only possibly regain the world number one title, but certainly to make sure Jess Lockwood doesn't squeak by him in the standings either. We've talked about the bounty that comes with Bill the Butcher. Derek Kolbaba, not ashamed to say he wants that money $25,000 on the line.